I started going to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico when I was about her age, so 20 plus years ago. I've probably tried about every taco stand or restaurant in Cabo San Lucas. Um, and the last time we went, we wanted to try to find the best tacos. First, we split up into teams. All right, we're introducing Team Snowballs. Team Snowballs, get together. Are we gonna eat some Snow yummy tacos? No. Yummy tacos, how nice. many can we eat tonight? Well, it's not how many, it's where's the quality. best? Quality. Yeah, quality where's the over best? quantity. This is Team Braiderade. They wear their sunglasses at night, as you can see. Mm -hmm. His, okay. his name is Gruni. He's used to being followed by paparazzi, so uh, he's, he kind of gets sick of it. One of my favorite places to eat tacos is called El Gran Pastor. It is delicious. One of the things I love about El Gran Pastor is that they chuck the taco full of meat. It's really about the same amount of meat that you get in two or three tacos somewhere else. They also have a delicious salsa bar. You can load up on guacamole, onions, tomatoes, pico de gallo. The other thing I like about El Gran Pastor is that it's cheap. Another place we really like is called La Taquiza. Um, it's right on the strip where they have a lot of the taco al pastor restaurants. Um, this one is delicious because they give you a tray of salsas that vary in spice. Um, there's a habanero sauce that is just to die for. You have to go and try it. It's tacos al pastor, but with cheese on it and veggies in it. Another place that's really popular for tacos al pastor in Cabo is called La Paisa. Um, they always have a huge spit of al pastor meat. I think they're good, but they put some sort of sauce on the taco that makes it kind of weird. It's almost like ravioli sauce or something like that. Not my favorite, still better than most things you can get in the States. Tell me how it is. That one guy that was over there is here now. Oh really? The one that has long hair and a half? What about the... Do you like the sauce? It tastes like chef oil. Yeah. That's like a good taco. Mm -hmm. My very favorite taco stand has actually been a, around for a long time, but they just barely got an official name. It's called Tacos El Ramiro. It's just outside, uh, it's a small little stand, but it is delicious. You ready? Ready. Am I ready? The al pastor meat is cooked perfectly. The uh, salsas are perfect. They come with uh, spicy or mild sauce. It's just a very delicious meat. It's gut. And it's quite skinny. Talk to me. Ice and goodness, and that's pretty darn close to Mexico City. Right. Like that's good. That's a bad one to start at because that's so good. Don't make it colder. Delicious. Super good. One of the most popular places to get tacos al pastor in Cabo San Lucas is called Tacos Gus. It's on the same strip as all the others. Um, I personally don't like Tacos Gus. I've never found the meat as um, savory or as uh, good as all of the other taco shops. And it's way more expensive. I think they've got a lot of hype and they're a little overrated. Another classic is Las Guacamayas. Um, this one's really good. It, it's very consistent. You go there, you get really good food. The ambiance is really fun. There's usually some pretty loud music playing. Um, the horchata there is delicious. Get some. Okay, let's talk seafood tacos. One of our favorite places to get seafood tacos is called Los Claros. They have some smoked salmon that's delicious. Um, they've also got these uh, no. pepper tacos where instead of a tortilla, it's a deep fried bell pepper and they put um, some of the salmon, 
and uh, some of the other stuff on it. It is delicious. You have to go try it. Now the all-time classic, classic taco stop in Cabo San Lucas is called Tacos Rossi. I've been going there since I was a little, little kid. Um, back before Cabo San Lucas barely even existed, uh, the tacos there are delicious. They serve the ceviche sometimes on, on little tostadas, so little crunchy tortillas to die for. Go get yourself some. Tacos of Rossi is right on the way from the airport into Cabo San Lucas. Um, so you can usually stop on the way there. After eating so many tacos, we had to get some dessert. So we stopped at an ice cream shop and yep. we had some churros. Yep. We took a quick pit stop to get popsicles. Delicious. It's actually ice cream. I posted the links for all of the addresses for the taco shops that I mentioned in this video. So take a look at the description and you can find them.